In this video, we are going to teach you about some plants in the savanna. The savanna is a grass area with some shrubs or, and trees. Savanna grass is one or two meters tall. In the savanna, it is hot in the summer and the summer lasts six to eight months. In the winter, the savanna gets dry and the ground gets hot by the sun and the ground gets sets on fire. The most famous savanna is in the Sagarali in Africa. There are many types of plants in the savanna. For example, there's a strange tree called the babble tree. It is very strange. It is also called an upside down tree. It is very tall and the trunk is very wide. It is very fat and it has long branches but less leaves. Dry seasons come, the leaves that are on the baobab tree start to come off. But when it starts to rain, the leaves that are on the baobab tree start to come out. The Sunland baobab tree is 22 meters high and it, it's some 47 meters in circumference. The baobab tree blooms really in the home to many bird species, including a pair of owls. The baobab is also called the tree of life with goodness reasons. Another plant, another savanna plant is the elephant grass. It is very tall grass that grows in very dense club up to three meters tall. The leaves are plants of the savanna can be used for many things. For example, the leaves of the baba tree can be used for shampoo. And the bark can be made into rope. Some people even live inside the baobab tree. The baobab can help cure sickness. The a tree are made in space and valuable resource for soil build in the economic. Bolster and India, Africa, of plants of Asia. In the savanna, the plants are in trouble. People are cutting down trees for firewood. People also clear grass to plant crops. Without grass to hold down the soil, the wind blows the sand and dirt away. More savanna are turning into deserts. Governments are helping the plants by making big parks to keep wild animals and plants. But we could help the plants we could help the plants by giving a little money to organizations that help plants and animals, like the World Wildlife Foundation. In, in some convenience stores, there is a box for coin for organization that helps the plants. You can also help plants all over the world by not wasting paper. Re reduce reuse and recycle. We hope you help the plants every day and we hope you learn things about the savannah. Thank you.